All right, we are back again with a project here at the Shabby Rose. And this project, I enjoy doing very much. Here I took some zero nail tips that are way too big for my nails. And what are you going to do with those big honking nails that just sit in your drawer and collect dust and are not used? You make them into jewelry. Yes. So here are the holes I've made. I put four coats, a base, cured that, four coats of the Point Shoes by Coco and Claire, cured all those layers, and then put a top shine layer on top, did that, and I didn't want to go through that whole process boring you to death with all the curing and painting, so I just started from here. And here I am stamping with this beautiful maniology plate that is more of a fall toned maniology plate, but it has this beautiful script on it. And there's some birch trees, so I decided to put that decoration at the top, and it didn't turn out too bad. So this is the MXM065 plate, and it is from fall. As you can see, it has a scarecrow on it and all that, so that's from a maniology box from I think last year. But I love the script and putting the script behind any type of sticker or any other painting. It just really makes it look very shabby chic, you might say. <laughs> so here I'm just filling in the gaps with a little bit more script. And I am using the Sally Hansen nail polish in gold. This stuff stamps really well. So this is my sticker collection from Shein. I do order the stickers from Shein because they are cheaper there and they're beautiful. There are so many options for nail stickers from there. Amazon is expensive. <laughs> and so that's where I get my nail stickers. And they have so they're they're beautiful. I love the 3D type. I could not ever do these designs this way with the gold foil on them so when I saw these roses I was like I'm gonna try that yep that'll work so these two beautiful designs I have tried working with monomore and acrylic and it just about killed me I could not my room is not ventilated enough for doing that so I am a sticker addict when it comes to putting them on my nails. I like that better. It's, it saves my lungs. So these roses are very, they're like a thin type sticker. So you have to be careful when you peel them off. But they are beautiful. They have a little bit of a gold foil design next to those roses. And they have a bit of a texture to them. So they're a bit raised. And it. It turned out really pretty. I like them so much. And then these little bead stickers that go down horizontally just added so much to it. But it wasn't enough. I had to do a little bit more to these nails to make them like sparkle. I love sparkle. I love sparkle and shine and just glitter and just eye catching things. So it needed something a little bit more and that's when I got out my gems from I believe long hair pretty nails had gems available a long time ago and I got them out so here's both nails finished I wasn't gonna bore you to death with doing it again to the other nail here are the gems from long hair pretty nails and I miss her not having her gems anymore she's gone into like patty gel I believe and she does awesome work. If you ever want to be inspired with just long nails and how she does art, it's an amazing channel. I'd say go over and take a look at what she does. She did like angel wings on her hands and it was just like, whoa. And she works with acrylic and stuff like that. So it, it's pretty astonishing. So I should have put something called caviar beads around these gems and it would make them look more finished but I was in a rush 
I wanted to wear these earrings to a meeting that I was going to and I didn't have enough time to go grab my caviar beads and make it look like a gem setting because the smaller caviar beads if you place them in like a square pattern around your gems it makes them look like a setting on a ring with the clasps around the gem but I didn't do that and I sort of regret that now but then I just put the shine over the top and then I cured it in my lamp and that will hold the gems in place and it's not too shabby I would say it looks pretty nice so here's both of them done and now I'm putting on the findings some jump rings and some earring um, fasteners this took patience I got a little bit shaky because I was in a rush I had just five minutes to finish these earrings and head out the door and head to the meeting that I was going to and I wanted to finish them I was like I didn't want to leave them here these earrings are so light on the ears you barely feel them so that's why I really like getting back into my gel earrings that I've been making because they do not rip my ears or feel like I have anything on my ears. And I like that because I want to preserve my ear holes and not have them tear or rip. Some earrings just get way too heavy. And so when you can't feel your earrings, it makes them more comfortable to wear all day long. So this is, this is nice. I like these. And plus, they're, they're not too bad. They give a good use for those huge nails that you probably would just toss out anyway. And that's a shame. You don't really want to toss out nails or things that you pay for. You want to put them to good use. You could also make necklace pendants out of these if you really wanted to, to make like a matching necklace set and put some like beads or a necklace. You could do so many things with these, decorate them, make necklaces and stuff. So there's lots of options with these nail tips. You don't have to just use them for your hands. You can make jewelry out of them. And I have a lot of ideas that are coming. So this channel is not just makeup and nails it actually shows what you can do with art i really like making canvases out of nail stamping so that's what i do also on the channel and i just have a ton of ideas of what to do with makeup and and nails so not quite the conventional things that you would usually do with your stuff but sometimes you got to find uses for things that you wouldn't normally use so, oh, where did that other nail go? Oh, it's over here. Silly me. So here I am putting on the other um, earring finding on this one. And I got these findings off of Amazon. You can get a huge t package of jump rings and different sizes of earrings all in one kit. And it saves a lot of money doing that. So I have a ton of findings that will last me a long time. And so, trying not to be shaky or anything like that, I do need to get more better pliers instead of using my eyebrow tweezers. <laughs> but it works, and a pinch was the closest thing I had to hand. And there you go. It's all put on. La la! Put on the backing. And there you have a finished earring that's light on the ears, won't cause irritation, and are just beautiful customized DIY earring that doesn't look too much like a nail does it does it you let me know do these look like nails on your ears <laughs> all right you have a great day and I will see you again